what's going on everybody it's lady luck here um i know um i have not been able to really post up anything today um as you guys can see i'm like pretty much prepared for a good night's rest but um tonight i just wanted to do something a little different i used to write a lot of poetry all the time and so it was kind of my way of just putting my thoughts out on paper and it can be therapeutic and you know especially if you got a lot you need to say but no one to really talk to so it's easier for me to be able to put some of my thoughts out in 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 writing um it's not a traditional poem i call it a floor tree but um i always kept a diary and i always used to write down you know events of the day or something major happened you know captured the moment type thing um and then just put my my thoughts and feelings and stuff out in in you know some sort of a poem or you know floor tree as i call it um today was my first day with my new position it was fantastic <laughs> i had a really good day today um and it's it, it's just a blessing it really is i mean i'm working from home i'm doing something that i enjoy doing i get to have the flexibility i need with my kids and um with them being you know still you know school age they're not older kids that can do for themselves just yet so i needed to have something that offered me that stability and plus you know with the way the last position ended it was just it this job came right on time and hopefully and prayerfully i do well as i always sit and strive to do and it can last <laughs> until i'm ready to retire because <laughs> i'm quite frankly sick of even doing applications <laughs> it gets to a point where you're just tired of looking for a job type thing um as much as i've looked for jobs over my my lifetime i mean from my first pregnancy until two you know a month ago you know it's i haven't been able to to stay on one job and it's not that I didn't want to but it's just when I was pregnant with my oldest son I was so sick and I couldn't work and just being out of work for such an extended period of time with both of my kids um with my second son I was out of work a total of 14 months my first son I was out of work for a total of 18 months none of it was because I didn't want to work. It was just always between having, being pregnant, giving birth, having a, a little baby at home. And then of course, you know, getting something that, um, was worth it, you know, especially when you have to pay for daycare, who wants to just work to pay for daycare? <laughs> like that's crazy. So, um, I'm finally just landed a great opportunity and it's just such a blessing. Everything going as well as going with this, with my channels. And I'm just so appreciative for all of those who are rocking with me and support me here in the Lady Luck Club. My second channel, Lady Luck Hops and Bars. Um, it's, it's a blessing more than you guys know um, to see this type of growth going. And I've only been doing this since January. <laughs> it's just, it's an absolute blessing. I enjoy you know, uh, putting up this content and doing these reactions to great music and great artists. So having said that, I wanted to just do one of my floor trees. Um, and I just wrote it tonight. You know, I wrote it, I started writing it around 845 and, um, this evening. And I, you know, I, I can't go to sleep until I get it out. I feel like that's, that's kind of where I am with this. So this is how I get issues and problems and, you know, real emotional stuff off my chest. Um, I write it out, you know, I write it out. So 
This particular uh, floor tree piece is called Powerful Words. Okay. So y'all have to bear with me. This is my first time even putting my, my floor tree out there. Um, <clears throat> all right. I never know how to start my floor tree. So I would just let go, let it flow, Braxton. I'm not a rapper. I can't speak the rare language of entendres, but I did have an epiphany. My thoughts are outspoken. My words are a king sword. My heart is solid as a rock until the right Arthur comes along. Pulling, shattering, freeing the sharpest blade to produce these powerful words. They said there's power in your words. Wielded power, strong enough for a woman to think and speak a pregnancy. Sparking just the physiological metamorphosis of the body, only to birth a seedless sack of fluidity. Free-flowing water like a river. My powerful words, my floor tree. This is my therapy session, NF. They said there's power in your words, power that's great when spoken responsibly, avoiding negativity. I say no to poverty. I say no to sickness. I say no to depression. I say no to doubt, fear, or worry. I told death to behave. This is the day I refuse to entertain you. I live, I eat, I move, I breathe. All of the blessings of God, he speaks. He spoke a word and existence manifested. My life will prosper. My life will be sustained. My thoughts Consumed with positivity, my finances will multiply. My children will be safe. My soul, mind, spirit will be at peace. Hypocrisy cannot, will not dwell in truth and transparency. Courage and sincerity. Some say words will never hurt. Said only by the walking contradictions of those who forget exactly how sharp they forge their sword. Swinging and slicing with our consequences from the toughest rock to the most delicate centerpiece of our core being, it pumps our life force, rich with oxygen. Just breathe deep when your heart's broken. From the cuts of the sharpest tongue, in that moment, you neglect, you reject the colloquialism. That's a pure contradiction when they say blood is thicker than water. If that's so, why can't you feel genetics? Why isn't DNA an emotion? Emotions embedded in DNA, matters of the heart never cares about your DNA. Irrelevant to the pure intentions of your heart, family by love, not by blood. Your soul will be judged by God, not your geneticism. The sacrifice from his son at Calvary would be null and void if your blood had power. From the heart, the mouth speaks. They say, speak only pleasantries or keep your mouth shut. That sword can cut deep, deep into your core, destroy your life force. Now tell me, how can that not hurt me? It's hard to confront the non-confrontational after they speak their peace, but refuse to speak peace, speak love, speak family. Speak remorse. Speak good things. They say never go to bed after an argument. I say never go to sleep without an understanding. Speak about it. Don't let your words you speak have cruel intentions. That's a classic. Epitome of life's too short. And here today, gone tomorrow. Ryan Philippi begs the question, did your sword cut somebody today? Judgment Day may, may be a rude awakening if you're a stranger to empathy. Reckless and careless, swinging a blade inconsequential to those around you that only wanted to speak love wholeheartedly. Show love unconditionally. Be family. Be a blessing. Be real. Be genuine. I understand my assignment and my purpose, even in those individuals' lives who may care less. I don't want to stress on my climb to the top. See, it's my downfall that scares me. Failure is not an option. I won't speak it. 
I recognize my blessings comes from being a blessing to you. No, it's not about me, but for all others you have blessed. We pray for a ram in the bush, forgetting the near sacrifice of a son. See, it was Abraham's obedience that yielded the blessing. And that blessing to you, for me, by design, is God's intention. Don't ask God for a blessing if it's limited to your expectations. It may come from the most unexpected source in the most unexpected way. They aren't always packaged with financial gains. They say, be careful what you ask for or what you pray for or what you wish for because you might regret more. Let your sword protect and defend, encourage and uplift, give hope and strength, enlighten and inspire, increase faith, show love, wield your power, speak your truth with understanding and empathy. Let the words from my mouth be responsibly stated. From my mind, be carefully crafted. From my heart, be mended with love unconditionally. From the depths of my soul, be forged in truth and power. This is my floor tree. That's it. Whew. I was actually nervous. <laughs> oh man, I was really nervous. All right. <laughs> yep, I was nervous, but I, I just I felt like I needed to get that off my chest so that I can, you know, sleep peacefully. Um, hopefully somebody hears that and have some encouragement. I was kind of inspired by NF in that. He's a phenomenal uh, lyrical rap artist, a true artist, and he puts his emotions out there on the line and, you know, it, 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 it is um, a therapy session. Um, he's a rapper and I'm not, but, you know, being able to put your words on paper and just say it out loud, sometimes it just helps, um, especially when it's hard for people to understand, you know, when you really want to talk things out and sometimes people just don't understand where you're coming from or... You know, I don't like um, I don't like vague advice. I don't like advice that's just easy to say, but everybody knows it's hard to do because you never know what people are really, really going through on the inside. And um, yeah, it's easy to say, don't worry about it. But sometimes it's not that easy to do. And so, you know, the way I try to, relieve some of that frustration, I guess, or whatever is, is by writing. And, um, yeah, so that was my floor tree, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, thank you guys once again for your support and for all the love that you all have shown me on this channel and both my channels. Um, it's, it's an absolute blessing and an honor to be able to you know, do these videos and have somebody watch them. It's just phenomenal to me. Um, and I, I never thought my channels would grow this fast at this pace, but it, it's it's a blessing. Um, and so hopefully you guys um, stay safe and stay positive. Speak kind words to somebody. Um, and if you do say something out of anger or out of hurt, you know, go to them. Like I said, have an understanding at the least, even if you don't agree. At least get some context for the situation. Talk about it and at least get an understanding. You might agree, agree to disagree, and that's okay. But clear the atmosphere and bring some resolution if you, you know, if somebody, you know, may have said or done something wrong, or even if you've done or said something that was out of pocket to someone, try to make amends for it because you never know if that person might wake up the next day. That That's kind of the life and world we're living in. Here today, gone tomorrow. So 
Either way, you guys continue to stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and until the next video.